Today's Two Minutes of Science is all about sciences everywhere again. In this case, we have another in the series of tin toys. This little tin toy is a Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel is vertical, that is, up and down, as opposed to the merry-go-round, which is horizontal. Now you would think that the Ferris wheel would need more energy in order for it to operate correctly since it's pushing things up. But because there's a balance, that is, it both pushes things up and gathers energy from the other side of the Ferris wheel where they're going down, in fact, the amount of energy it takes to make this operate is fairly low. It's just a matter of overcoming inertia. In this case, it's also a matter of making sure that things are aligned correctly because some of the joints, if they're not aligned correctly, will catch on pieces of the infrastructure. So it's important to make sure in all mechanical engineering that you have enough tolerance for the flexibility of the material that you're using. So another piece of science that we can attribute to this tin toy example. You can see the little spring here that's powering the thing. And it's very small compared to the overall size of the device. The energy stored within the spring, because again, the wheel is balanced, only has to overcome the inertia. And it runs for a long time. 